heart was working at a fraction of what it should. He couldn't walk to the nearest wall to support himself. He was short-winded all the time. But what if I told you this wasn't the end of Tyrone's story? That there's a future of possibilities waiting for him? Top scientists from around the world in the past year to build a viral defense network. It's called the Abbott Pandemic Defense Coalition, a network spanning the globe from Brazil to Senegal to Thailand. Together, we're keeping a watchful eye on today's viruses because we know that the viruses never stop. But neither do we. So we're doing more than just watching. Here's how the coalition works. Let's say a doctor has a patient who's ill and has tested negative for all the usual suspects. The coalition is alerted, and that's when we go to work to identify what that pathogen is. This information allows all of us together to respond faster than ever before. So the brink of using data to expand human capability and to give all of us the power to live healthier lives and reach our greatest potential. And that includes people like Ilyud Kipchoge, the first person to run a sub two hour marathon. And one gunning for his second Olympic gold medal, he needed as much data as he could get to optimize every part of his training, from nutrition all the way to recovery. He needed a translator that could help him read what his body was telling him and what it needed so that he could make the impossible possible. And here's how we help him do that. My name is Helut Kipchok. Many know me as an Olympic champion. Many don't know me that I grew up in Rift Valley. I ran to school and back home every day when I was a child. I'm still running and I'm the fast human being to beat the two-hour barrier over 26.2 miles. What does it take to break a world record? Training, yes, but it's important also to know how your body uses glucose. It's stored as a fuel that's ready to burn when needed. When you don't have enough, then you lack endurance. I use Apot Sports Biosensor, the world's first glucose sport biosensor to track how my glucose consumption was impacting my training. My team uses these insights to evolve my trainings. The hub shows me how much glucose my body needs to achieve my goals. It's every athlete's dream. I do not have to guess what I need to succeed. The power to improve myself now rests in my own hands. Abbott is helping people to understand their body's potential and transforming the future of sport. Hello, CES. I wish I could be there right now with you. But currently, I'm training in Kaptakat, Kenya. There is new possibilities for me and for you. Abbott has a special announcement to share with you all. In the meantime, I got to run. Thanks, Siliud, and we wish him best of luck on his training. We wish he was, we wish he was here too. But he's right. We do have a special announcement uh, today, and uh, we're proud to introduce to you, for the first time, Lingo, a new category of consumer biowearable sensors that we're developing to track key signals in the body to better understand what it's telling us. Thank you.